been a total change in weather. It's raining. It's uh, plus two degrees. We are in the middle of November. It's uh, really weird. Everything is melting. There, are, there is no more snow on top of the trees. The dogs in the fence are low energy. They don't want to do anything, but I will take them out for a sled ride now. Give them some exercise. Someone heard us. Yo. done maybe three kilometers uphill the uh, snow is very heavy and wet there are no tracks everything has melted so I have interrupted it and uh, we're gonna be going home now hopefully I will also have uh, an opportunity to continue on the knife all right guys Hey Riley. Hey. So oh yeah. Yo yo Riley. Hey Sitka. Hey Sitka. Yo. <laughs> yo yeah, say the Riley. <laughs> so yeah.
powerful global finance scene of things, specifically the way they develop young talent. There is not one man in the world that doesn't like to play. The young players make the world feel very serious, but there is not one. The problem is that sometimes we get too much of love, so that the world that is below you is not good enough to produce this play. If you say to your first stadium, you have to one man. You have to say the best stadium in the world. I say to the young training round is second to none. Probably you can be only compared with some American football training round. You cannot compare with European football at any level, and I think in the majority of the best places. You should just play match after match, match after match, in the game. Sean Ringer has won three Premier League titles, along with another London club, Chelsea, who for the captain there, has accepted now a technical advisor at Stamford Bridge, and he's welcome to the sound of his former boss. Only time will tell, but I think it's great for the Premier League to, to, to have the personality of Jose Mourinho as one of the most successful coaches uh, in the past uh, 15 years uh, back in, in the Premier League, and the situation, well, but uh, you know, we have our targets and we want to concentrate on, on our goals during, during the season. Uh, I can't tell you, uh, I don't know what's here in terms of that. Oh, yeah. Hey, everyone. How are you doing? My name is uh, Vahid Kulsberg. And uh, welcome back to the continuation of uh, putting a handle on this knife that uh, I will be putting out to you, uh, uh, subscribers, as a lottery of uh, five euros plus one euro uh, through PayPal for expense uh, transaction fees, PayPal fees. So, while we were waiting for the coffee, I went outside and I flattened, smoothened the, uh, the ends of these uh, antler pieces. And so, all we need to do now is to put on our birch bark uh, uh, stacks on here, glue them together and uh, press, dry press everything. Oh yeah, and also we need to make a hole in the rear end of the alpha piece. So there's not much to do on this knife, even though it looks naked now. All the materials are, are, are ready and uh, we just have to put them together and uh, that will be this week's episode and uh, I suppose uh, next week then when everything is dry the glue has, has cured we will uh, shape our hand all right let's get to it oh what a nice copy quid pro quo answer is yes Guess what news this, uh, those are. In the absence of any credible explanation for the suspension of aid, I later came to believe that the resumption of security aid would not occur until there was a public statement from Ukraine committing to investigations of the 2016 elections and Burisma. And he insisted senior figures on the administration so. what was going on. It might be a bit. So this is three millimeter there. So probably end up somewhere here. Maybe it's uh, four or five millimeters. I'm not sure how someone could characterize something as an irregular channel when you're talking to the President of the United States, Secretary of State, National Security Advisor, Chief of Staff of the White House, Secretary of Energy. He said some insisted U.S. diplomats work with his private attorney, Rudy Giuliani, on handling Ukraine. But he followed the president's orders. Someone said Giuliani's direction on Ukraine became more insidious with time. I think I will have this on the rear end. It looks nicer. But later, Sondland testified to the same account that the $400 million in security aid was also on the line. Someone testified that in a phone call with the Oval Office, 
finally resolved Trump, which is friendly, and if it would hold military aid to Ukraine in exchange for an investigation into his political rival. The U.S. ambassador to the EU also visited other Okay, that is good time. That is good time. So as you can see, these grains run, run that way, and next one will have to be running the opposite way. So the grains are crisscrossed. It makes the handle uh, sturdier. Demanding an end to Saudi airstrikes and its crippling blockade. According to the UN, 
and the thousands like them die every year from the effects of the crisis of starvation. But for a day at least, they will fight the sea for food of war. He plays court when the thief watches his presence. He hopes and urge everyone to work together to end the war and be united. I hope the Sana Airport opens soon so I can travel to Qatar to watch the World Cup. The sounds of gunshots and explosions have become an everyday reality for millions of Americans. Parents have to comfort those too young to understand the conflict. UNICEF says that Yemen is the worst place in the world to be a parent. This is the scene shortly after a school bus was voluntarily surrendered and were arrested as a result. Now, over the last few days, we've had more than 1,000 people uh, leave this campus and, of course, face arrest. Now, at the moment, now this particular area, we have two traffic congestion. Uh, down here is the Cross Harbour Tunnel. This was closed just last Wednesday. It's a major tunnel uh, connecting Hong Kong Island and Kowloon. Now, also, we have in the US, uh, the capital. I want to shut the chain for about a second in the mask. Will you stop me to leave the drive? I'll just take my life. Faced with pressure from international rights groups, the head of Chinese armed forces recently announced that shock impellers would no longer be used to disperse crowds. There will be an opportunity to decide to end the use of anti riot shotguns unless there is a risk of the lives of police or civilians. With protests in Chile continuing. Reindeer antler powder, winter glue, winter glue, or cold temperature glue. It's a wooden glue. What I will do is, uh, there is this gap there. I will mix some glue with the reindeer powder. Rain reindeer powder. Rudolph powder. And uh, fill in this gap there. Featuring secret depositions, hidden transcripts, and an unending flood of Democrat leaks to the media. They got caught trying to obtain nude photos of President Trump from Russian pranksters pretending to be <laughs> nude photos pranks. of Trump. Who wants to see that? And they got caught covering up for Alexander Chalupa. A Democratic National Committee operative who colluded with Ukrainian officials to smear the Trump campaign by improperly redacting her name through deposition transcripts, transcripts and refusing to let Americans hear her testimony as a witness in these proceedings. That is the Democrats' pitiful legacy in recent years. They got caught. Seems like Trump got caught. Meanwhile, their supposed star witness testified that he was Jesse, that President Trump was trying to tie Ukrainian aid into investigations despite no one telling him that was true. Alright guys, just listening to the news 
I will not talk politics. This is the impeachment. Presidential impeachment of the American president. That's Devin the Nunes of the Republicans. I can't play music because of copyright. I tried that uh, in one of my earlier videos, Bob Dylan, but uh, I got caught. Okay. Weird phrase to use that the Democrats got caught. Ah, sorry guys, I promise not to talk politics. So, I wonder if I put enough reindeer powder in here. Probably, yeah. No problem. The reason why I want to uh, plug this in now is that this is, it's easier to do it now. Because later on when everything is uh, together, I would have to uh, fill the gap this way from the front and that's much more difficult. But now I can move the piece and put glue and uh, reindeer in there with fairly ease. So that's what I'm doing. I guess the uh, the uh, reindeer will act like a plaster. Okay, I would have to let this cure before I proceed with the birch bark. I have punched holes in them already, as you have seen. So I would have to let this cure. As the senior policy and political advisor to Ambassador Taylor, who testified earlier in these hearings, he is a career foreign service officer. He has previously served in Cold Plaster, Chile, Kabul, Bogota, and Pristina. He has also served on the staff of the National Security Council as a special assistant, uh, as special assistant to the United States Secretary of State. 
A few final points before our witnesses are sworn. First, witness depositions as part of this inquiry were unclassified in nature, and all open hearings will also be held at the unclassified level. Any information that may touch on classified information will be addressed separately. Second, Congress will not tolerate any reprisal, threat of reprisal, or attempt to retaliate against any U.S. government official for testifying before Congress, including you or any of your colleagues. If you would please rise, raise your right hand, and I will begin by swearing you in. Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Let the record show that the witnesses answered in the affirmative. Uh, thank you, and you may be seated. The microphones are sensitive, so you'll need to speak directly into them. Without objection, your written statements will be made part of the record. And with that, uh, Mr. Holmes, you are now recognized for your opening statement. Okay. And when you... Tired of all the political rhetoric, 
and looking for a new beginning for the country. It was from Al Jazeera to South. Little of the city dialogue of Bougainville had begun voting in a referendum on whether to become independent from Papua New Guinea. Quickly engaged, Al Jazeera brought news to The State Department has released records related to its dealings with Ukraine. The nearly 100 page document was made public after a lawsuit by an ethics workshop, which confirmed multiple contacts between Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and Donald Trump's personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, earlier this year. It also supports testimony at the impeachment inquiry that soon the official. Yeah, last night, if I made, this is available on YouTube. There's glue I used there. Uh, Pine and spruce resin mixed in with a bit of tar and moose fat. If you're interested in that knife, it's available out there on my channel. Opposition protesters in several cities in Georgia have been chained and padlocked to try to shut down state buildings. That follows more than a week of demonstrations over the <coughs> to approve planned electoral reforms. Robin Forrester Walker reports from Tbilisi. Another day of pop up protests in Tbilisi, this one outside the Interior Ministry, to force the authorities into confrontation with the opposition. This week, activists who blockaded Parliament for failing to reform the electoral system was sentenced at Tbilisi City Court to short prison terms. Iraki Nadiradze spoke to us before being jailed for 13 days. They haven't any evidence and they can't threaten us with violence. We'll continue to protest in prison or on the streets until we kick this pro-Russian regime out of the country. But not everyone sympathizes. A passerby heckles Iraki. If you are not in a rush, I'm not really in a rush, but you also have the option to, to glue stacks, little stacks of five, eight, before you uh, punch holes in them, just glue the stacks together in segments five to eight. 5 to 10 in each one and uh, press glue it, let it dry and then you have chunks, separate chunks which you then drill holes in and then mount them on your on your tank it will make each segment tighter together because now we have to press everything as one, which might result, if it's not properly pressed, it might result in, uh, in uh, bits of uh, not evenly pressed. So you might see waves or parts where the glue has been pressed out, flowed out, and created a bubble, a, a wave. All right, that was the last watch mark. And here is... Which side was it? Yep. Put some glue on this also. In the last decade, tens of thousands of camels killed or disappeared during the 26-year civil war. Bernie Smith met some of the families living. Kinabati, the former capital of Sri Lanka's Tamil separatists, is sometimes called the land of the missing. Their relative sphere of enablement will never be taken okay. off. Paper, paper, paper. Here again, I try to stay strong for my other children, but when they're not in the house, I cry thinking about my daughter. I want her to come back. President first. When they go to war, people go missing. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, Colombia. The launch of Tesla's new electric pickup truck has drawn trouble and social inequality. 
officials in Colombia are defying a curfew imposed by the president after their confrontation with the police. The concern there is discussed for the second time. There's a scheduled amount of second readings, and now we're told Parliament is going to meet at 1 p.m. But there have been many times over the course of the last... ...have agreed to hold a summit next month in the latest sign of improving diplomatic relations. The talks will focus on Japanese atrocities inflicted on Koreans during the Second World War. And it nursed with contractors as Russia uses mercenaries in conflicts from Syria to Libya, and China steps up efforts to protect the view the Wagner Group in Ukraine, Libya, and Syria. Now, Central Attack reports exclusively from the Central African Republic, Russia is training a security company called Wagner, which has close ties to the Kremlin. The, the accidental warfare and accidental escalation that has sucked two powers into a nuclear war that was not anticipated. It's not only Russia, is it China's uh, apparently being sucked into the game with the Road to Belt initiative requiring it apparently in, in, in places of political instability, political insecurity, and they're relying increasingly on private security companies. These companies are thought to be mostly, they're Chinese, and they're thought to be an arm of Beijing, sort of like little green men, but little, you know, Chinese green men uh, in many places. But again, there's always a problem of them uh, engaging in a conflict by accident, perhaps, that could suck China or Beijing into a war in a place like the Congo or in the Sahel. I mean, people in Russia, the US, and China are using mercenaries. Uh, everybody else will have a chance to. The extractive industry is looking at them more and more, like oil, gas. Um, and we're getting to an era, we're going back to the future because in, you know, a thousand years ago, two thousand years ago, mercenaries were how wars were fought. And this introduces a lot of different problems because that suddenly you can have wars about states. Anybody who's rich enough to hire mercenaries can become a superpower. So the super rich can become a superpower. And this will change not just warfare as we know it, it will change international politics too. And what does this happen? In the end, it wasn't the blockbuster it was made out to be. Saudi state-owned oil giant Aramco isn't worth two trillion U.S. dollars. There's plenty of blame to spread around for such misplaced exuberance. The guarantee of seventy-five billion dollars in dividend every year for the next five years wasn't enough to attract international investors. They couldn't stomach the crown prince Mohammed bin Salman's ambitious valuation. But it was a price put together by investment bankers desperate to cash in on the biggest initial public offering of the year. So now the plan is only to sell shares to Saudi nationals and investors from the Gulf region. The value could be as high as $1.7 trillion. But as of a their initial estimates, the initial estimates were as announced by the Crown Prince uh, now four years ago. So there we go, there we have it. Uh, we have proceeded quite far this week. I shaped the antler pieces, both the front and the rear, and uh, punched holes in the uh, birch bark and then assembled everything by gluing. And finally we uh, pressed everything. And uh, now it's just a waiting game for a couple of days for the glue to cure properly. And after that, we will uh, look at the package and uh, we will shape our knife. But I'm very happy. It's uh, going forward very well. And uh, hopefully next week, we'll show the final result of, of, of the handle. So thank you for uh, joining me this on, on this week's episode. And thank you to uh, Hannes Erman and uh, Giacomo Piceni for uh, uh, coming forward and, and uh, being part of the lottery. So far there are two people and it's you guys. So you have an amazing opportunity, 50-50 chance to uh, get a handcrafted, uh, uh, guaranteed for life, Scandinavian birch bark handle, reindeer with reindeer uh, details, front and rear, with a Finnish uh, uh, Puko uh, blade on it. And uh, naturally, I will also make a, a sheath for it, so you will get the whole package. And as an example of a knife I made earlier, this is uh, my wife's knife. The making of this knife is also available on my channel. You can uh, go forward. If you haven't watched, you can uh, 
uh, find it there. This one was made completely during other circumstances uh, when we were at our cabin this summer in, 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 uh, in Sweden. All by hand, no power tools. The glue is uh, pine resin, pine and, and uh, spruce resin mixed up with a bit of tar and moose fat. So, and it smells amazing. Yes, so thank you for joining me this week. Hopefully next week the handle will be ready. And if you're a new viewer, this offer of the lottery is only a, uh, 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 is only available to subscribers. So if you're interested to get this knife, uh, I would recommend you to subscribe. And uh, you have a very good chance to get it. So thank you again, guys. This is another blade I made. See you next week.